What is up everybody? It's CJ Place here and I'm back with another Sims 3 World overview and today we're going to be going to another vacation world. Now this one y'all I've had on my list for a long time and I'm just now getting around to look at it but before I show it off I got to show y'all how to get to the world. Now since it's like a vacation world it's meant to be used with the traveler mod. You can't just go there like you would a normal world like you can't like pull it up and just go to it. You have to use the traveler mod. So if you don't have it I will leave the traveler mod link down below but once you have it in installed what you want to do is go over to a cell phone and you want to go down here to where it says real estate and travel services once you click it you want to hit on travel and your sim will of course you know make a phone call and then once you have it pulled up you will have to scroll and find the world so let me just find it really quick y'all here we go so the name of the world y'all is the ms plumbob dream so it's literally just a cruise ship and I'm really excited to check it out. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on it. You can set the time that you want to stay there. If you want to stay for longer, you can or shorter. I'm just going to do three sim days. And then what I'm going to do is just hit accept. And then your sim is going to go to the world. All right, y'all. So we're in the world. And yes, I said world. The whole entire world, y'all, is literally just a ship. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and have Elliot check in at the front desk. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, y'all. So we're down here. Elliot is getting checked in. And I thought that we would check out this little portion of the world first. Now, this world only uses the base game and Roaring Heights, which is the Sims 3 world. And there's also like a plant from the Sims 3 store that you can install. I think it's this plant right here. This world also does use custom content, by the way. But let's check out this little area over here, though. So over here, I see a fire pit. I see some tables. Over here, there's like a little self-serving bar. Of course, if you have have all the packs and stuff you could definitely like you know edit this and add more stuff if you want to there are some plants and stuff out here as well but i think that's pretty much it for this little area so let's just go ahead and zoom down inside of the building so why don't we start over here in this little section first so over here in this section this appears to be like a little cafeteria area so you have some buffet tables you have plenty of tables to come and sit down at there's a statue right here as well so going over this way i see like a little kitcheny type of area so you have a bar a coffee machine machine there is a trash compactor and a dishwasher there's also a fridge a bathroom and then of course you have some tables so you can also have your sims you know come and make food over here as well going over this way this looks like a little recreational like area kind of like a little chill spot so you have places to sit down there are some bookshelves over here as well there's also a computer desk a foosball table and you have another computer desk i did bring up the walls for a second just to make sure i'm not missing anything there's also a tv over here as well okay y'all so we've seen everything out here Let's go ahead and scroll upstairs. So when you go up the stairs, there's just some places to sit down. You can have your Sims come and like sit down over here and look out the window, which is like really, really nice. Going over this way, you have a bedroom with this on ensuite. <laughs> there is no toilet, so you might want to add a toilet or a shower in here maybe, but you do have a sink at least. And then going over this way, you have another room over here. So over here in this room, Let's look at the view real quick. Ooh, that's really nice though. Hold on y'all, look at that view. Okay, but you do have a bedroom. You have a place to sit. There is a coffee machine in here as well. You have an ensuite bathroom. You also have like an outdoor deck space right here where you can have your Sims just come and chill and hang out and you know, look out at the world and stuff like that. There's also a little balcony area out here by the bathroom where you can just come and chill and hang out. So that's also cool as well. And let me go ahead and scroll upstairs again to see what's at the top. So up here, you just kind of have more places to sit down and stuff like that. You do have a bedroom. So let's check out this bedroom really quick. So this bedroom looks like the one that we just saw. Again, it doesn't have a toilet or a shower. It just has a sink, but you could definitely, you know, add one if you want to. And then out here, you just, you know, have a little balcony space. And then going back over this way, you do have an empty room over here so you can add a bedroom if you want to all right well let's go ahead and go upstairs again so up here again you do have like another sitting area in the middle and you have an empty room over here that you could definitely you know add more onto if you want it and then let's scroll upstairs again so we're now at the top of the cruise ship so you have plenty of places to lounge and of course look out at the world and the water and stuff like that um over here you have plenty of places to lounge as well you could definitely like you know add more stuff out here if you want it but now let's go ahead and go over here to this part of the world 
um, or the yacht, I should say. <laughs> so over here, you have two swimming pools. So over here at this one is, you know, right here in the middle and you just have some places to lounge. And then over here is pretty much the same exact thing. Going over this way, you just have more places to lounge and then there's more places to lounge over here as well. Let's go ahead and scroll down because I want to see what's down here in the middle of it. So I'm going to just scroll all the way down. So down here at the bottom, you just have like a little walkthrough area. There's plenty of trees and plants and stuff like that. There's a little sculpture over here as well, but I'm not really seeing any anything else but you could definitely add stuff if you want it to so that's pretty cool um and now i want to go ahead and go over here to this part of the world just to make sure i'm not missing anything you do have some places to lounge like we saw earlier there's also some swimming pools but let me just go ahead and scroll down to make sure i'm not missing anything so this appears to be empty on the inside as well okay and then at the bottom you do have like a little walkthrough area so let's scroll over here. So over here looks like it's the same exact thing too. Just places to lounge, a swimming pool. And then let me just scroll down to make sure I'm not missing anything. So no, there's nothing down here. And then of course at the bottom, you do have like a, another walk space area. And then over here towards the front of the ship, there's just a swimming pool. And let me just scroll down to make sure we're not missing anything. So no, we're not. Okay, but that's pretty much it for the ship, y'all. We've pretty much seen everything. Also, if you didn't notice, y'all, this world does have this cool effect where it looks like the boat is moving. Um, I think it might actually be moving. I'm not for sure, but this is really, really cool, y'all. Like, I have seen this world before, but I never got an up-close look at it, and this is, like, a really amazing world. But I think that's pretty much it for this video, y'all. I would definitely say that if you do want to use this world, again, you have to use the Traveler mod. You can't just go to it normally. I also think that this world would be really cool if you, you know, maybe you have your Sims going on vacation, and maybe you could just have them be on the ship to kind of, you know, serve as, like, a little transitional thing where they go from one world to another world or something like that. There is two different different versions of this world by the way y'all so you have this one that you know has like all the items and stuff like that and there's also like the first edition that was just empty so if y'all do want the first version i will leave a link down below where you can go and check it out and stuff like that i think that i might want to edit this one day and like add some lots and stuff like that so if y'all would be interested in that let me know because i could definitely do it but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video again this world is called the ms plum bob dream it's a really unique world and i haven't really seen anything like this in the sims three before so i'm really glad that i got to check it out but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below follow me over on twitch where i stream a lot of the sims 3 and some other games and i'll see you in the next video bye thanks for watching also leave me some suggestions for some worlds to check out y'all i know y'all have been but like keep leaving them but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this one and i'll see y'all in the next one bye thanks for watching